award for best multimedia news presentation is sponsored by Google. The judges called NPR's Borderland technically flawless, a simple idea but brilliant in approach and execution. This report tells the story of those who live in a world of human smuggling, drugs, and poverty. The report combined efforts of NPR radio reporters, web developers, data experts, producers, and photographers. Here from Washington to accept the award are Steve Inskeep and Kenaz Amaria. We have a citation. Wait, I'm certainly the one who wants to applaud. These are my guys. A citation goes to Peter Bocart and Marcus Bleasdale of Human Rights Watch for the unraveling journey through the Central African Republic crisis. Good evening. Some of you may listen to NPR, uh, and if you do, you're aware of Deborah Amos's reporting, and you know that sharing a stage with Deb is basically an award all by itself. <laughs> yeah. I just want to enjoy some of the ironies of this moment, that we are here accepting this visual award on behalf of our radio network, <laughs> which is much, much more than a radio network. I also like the idea that we're receiving an Overseas Press Club Award for international reporting that was partly done in Texas. <laughs> All right. And especially the irony that we went out to find the epic stories of ordinary people. We went the entire length of the U.S.-Mexico border. We had a few interviews set up, but not very many at all. We went to find who we could find, people you couldn't easily call, email, or reach out to on Twitter. We ended up meeting people like Sarah, a woman who had crossed the U.S.-Mexico border from Ethiopia, having traveled a dozen countries to get there. And we discovered there was an entire network of people smuggling people like Sarah around the world to the Mexican border. Kainaz, Kainaz's amazing images emphasized the human quality of these epic stories, often with very small objects, things like toothbrushes and toys, which people had left behind as they got across the border or were caught and their ambitions were frustrated. I do want to mention Nishant Dehia and Selena Simmons Duffin, who accompany us in the vehicle. I want to thank my colleagues and managers at NPR for having the confidence to send us out not to find the story that was expected, which is always a risk that you just go for the story that's expected of you, but to find the story that is, the story that is real, and the story that is always waiting for us. Thank you very much.